We both know damn well that this shouldn't cost that much. How's it going guys? Brian here. Today we're going to be talking about Bradford watches and why they're the watch that no one should be investing in. So if you've been thinking on buying this watch and you've been trying to decide if it's the right one for you, then this video is definitely going to save you a lot of money. If you guys don't already know, my name is Brian and I make fashion YouTube related content. So if both looking good and feeling good is something you're into, make sure to subscribe. But let's just get straight into this review. So the first thing I'm going to say is that this watch is so overpriced for the quality that they're offering. Let's begin by talking about the leather straps now the leather straps is what first is going to let you know that this is really cheap quality within the first couple weeks of owning the leather straps they had already started to stain with sweat getting a lot darker in color and then the actual belt buckle where i would wrap it onto my wrist started to begin to have this like blowout hole and it would just get worse and worse over time another thing is that after a couple of months of wearing and owning the watch it started to develop a really nasty smell to it it basically started to smell like gym socks because of all the sweat that it was collecting now i never wore it running and i know that i don't sweat that much this is just because it is made out of a lower quality leather bradford watch does use genuine leather and if you guys don't know that's basically the most affordable leather you could get so a lot of fast fashion watch companies use this leather just so they could save a lot of money yeah it might look good for the first week of wearing the watch and it's enough to get the buyer's initial impression to perceive the watch as being made out of high-end material but in terms of longevity honestly these leather straps are complete garbage the one thing i will say is that they do only sell them for around 20 to 30 bucks on the site so with that at least they're not charging upwards of 40 to 50 dollars for straps that they know are complete and utter garbage so yeah definitely the leather straps are a huge no for me that's one of the first things you're going to notice it's going to let you know that this is not a good quality watch now let's talk about the actual watch in itself one thing that's happened with the watch that's really annoying is that somehow the frame got bent now i was never rough with this watch or anything so i'm not sure how that happened but what ended up happening is that every time that i would have the watch on it would actually end up popping off of the hinge and that is because the frame was actually bent so this thing would just collapse under the pressure and this would happen a lot i was eventually able to sort of fix it but if i were to put it on right now within an hour it would pop off again so honestly that is one thing that i don't even know how it happened but definitely it's contributed to just having a really bad experience with the watch and the next thing guys is when it comes to the battery of this watch within i would say the eighth or ninth month it ended up dying on me even though i would always turn the watch off when i wasn't using it i was very conservative when it came to the battery but even then it did end up dying and so that definitely ended up being the final straw when it came to this watch and after that i decided that i've already had a bad experience with the watch there was no reason on going forward trying to find out how i can change the battery or any of that other stuff i really wanted to just get out with the money now these reasons alone are very super personal obviously for you guys it might be different and i understand that that in itself is not enough for me to tell you guys to not purchase bradford watches this next section in the video is really why i'm gonna say stay away from this watch company and that is because when i bought this watch they were selling it originally for 115 dollars now because i saw the watch in teaching men's fashion he actually had a discount code that made it 50 percent off so i ended up spending 60 dollars for this watch that you're watching right here i went back to the site and guys now they're selling this watch for upwards of 160 dollars like let that sink in this watch has gotten marked up so highly and they have not improved the overall quality of what they were originally offering so when you put things into perspective if they sold me this watch for 60 dollars, that means that they were able to still get a good amount of profit off of me when i paid that money now think of how much more profit they were making a year ago when this was priced at 115 and now let it sink in that they're selling the same watch for over 160 dollars. the markups they're making is honest the markups they're making off of their customers is honestly just insane and that's one of the main things that i find really shady about bradford watches is that they only have two models on their site they do not innovate when it comes to design they do not try different models they do not try to get better as time goes on they sell two watches that they probably buy in bulk from a cheap manufacturer stamp their name on it and basically are selling you guys that in a really highly priced markup also when it comes to the overall watch design at first when i bought it i really liked the idea of how minimal it was but over time i started seeing that it's really cheap they really just stamped their name with ink on there change the coloring to green and there you go they sell you that watch for upwards of 160 dollars this is not innovative this does not 
show effort. This does not show progression or try anything new. It's really just a way for them to call it minimal and get away with not actually trying to innovate. When it comes to the shady business practices, that is one reason why I would say stay away when it comes to Bradford watches. Also, one thing that I would tell you that shows how much they really care about their product is that a couple months ago, they sent me an email and they said that they were selling their watches for around $80 and they were having a really big markdown. But there was the catch. Every watch that they were selling actually was left on in the factory. So the batteries actually had deteriorated. They were trying to say that this wasn't a big deal and that you could always get a battery replacement, but really put it into perspective. If a watch company is okay with selling you defective products and if not defective, deteriorated products, what does that say about how much they care of the overall quality and the customer expectations that they hold the company up to? They're just trying to ship these out as much as they can to get a lot of money before people start to realize that they are not worth the actual investment so for these reasons i would say stay away from this watch company guys when it comes to fast fashion watch companies i think these are one of the worst and i would not recommend them to anyone hopefully that video helped you out and saved you 160 dollars if you guys like the review make sure to like comment and subscribe also check me out on instagram at men's minute fashion thank you so much for watching stay stylish and stay humble